practice has been going good so far. And uh, we're going over, mostly going over the basics right now because it's still early. And, um, you know, basically it's getting the young guys ready because that's mainly been the focus. No, it's also it's us returners, but it's been pretty productive. Being a group of newcomers, right? anybody that stood out to you so far that we should be looking for? Um, no, not a particular one that stand out. They're all making individual strides and getting better day by day. Um, talk about chemistry, and I, I guess you're just kind of at the beginning stages of that when you have a, uh, you as a senior and, and trying to blend in a big new crop. Um, work, is that something that just happens over time? Is it something you're proactively working on trying to gel before the season gets here? Yes, uh, time definitely has a lot to do with it. And um, that's basically what we're getting, getting to know, getting to know each other better as teammates every day in practice, knowing what each other like to do, strengths and weaknesses, and that's all in the doing process. Talk about uh, this off season and, and your individual goals, and what have you worked on in your game? Um, mostly, what I worked on from the summer break coming into the the year to start practice, basically like creating my own shot and things like that, of how to use screens a lot better from what they saw from me playing last year, and things of that nature. Great. Your personal objectives for this year are uh, to win more games than we did last year. Definitely that number one goal. Perfect. Talk about uh, playing for Coach Mark. Uh, playing for him is definitely different from any other coach I've ever played for, high school level or um, collegiate. Um, he's very intense, has a lot of passion, cares about his players. It's it's definitely a good experience to, uh, for me to play with him. Uh, still a few weeks away, mm -hmm. but you guys jump into it pretty good with a pretty good non-conference schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you have Clemson and Baylor just before them in the preseason tournament. Uh, talk about that non-conference schedule. Uh, us players, we were excited when we saw the when the schedule had finally came out and was posted online, and we saw the non-conference, and that just made us get even more excited about the season that we're going against um, teams that are considered um, big, like big, big collegiate schools when as far as basketball. So that just lets us know that we have to work even much more harder. And that's just going to get us prepared for SEC play, which is always the main goal, despite the non-conference schedule. I know what Coach is building in South Carolina last year was kind of the start of it. What do you think when 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 you guys get it going? How are the, how will fans describe your play? I mean, what do you want? What will it look like when when your team gets going and coach, playing Coach Martin style? What's that going to look like? Uh, it's going to be uh, very intense. And uh, he likes us to uh, play fast, but kind of under control, kind of fast, and, um, and excitement. And that's basically what uh, he wants to see from his players, playing with enthusiasm and a lot of energy. Talk about uh, the SEC and just the competition day in and day out and just uh, your view of the league. I know we're still a long way away from conference play, but as you look at this league this year, describe uh, the SEC play for us. Uh, the SEC play is definitely going to be uh, pretty good this year, uh, considering that we got players that have transferred from other other conferences that have came to the SEC, and um, you know the Kentucky's getting the All Americans, and the league is getting bigger uh, by every year. So this year should be very exciting. The SEC.